The little baby's been kicking a little bit more this morning. Baby girl. Knock, knock, knock. Anyone home? Hey, baby girl. Naturally, she wants to be quiet and sleep. But in like the five seconds, I'm gonna put this down and she's gonna start kicking up a storm again. I am hoping that this is going to be one of the last times that we have to try to find uh, something at Ikea. It's, I used to love this store, but now right, we lost her. Baby girl knocked Allie down. So we're gonna do all this when you walk into our room and then she'll have one of these. Perhaps something like, oh my God, definitely one of these. It's so little. It's so cute. We're getting somewhere. She keeps kicking still. We got this, we got that. Because I have a matter of hours because I have to leave for uh, the tour, which actually is really, really sad. No, this is, babe, this is something I was telling you that I really, I needed. What, what is it? The um, pregnancy support band. Is that the thing that goes around? Mm-hmm, so it holds your belly up, you know? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm super excited. I have to tell you guys something. Pregnancy brain is real. A lot of things coming up in the next couple weeks that I have been crowding my mind that there's so many things that I'm forgetting. Charles was doing a little research because he was like, oh, Allie, you don't have a breast pump yet. Because I'm awesome. You're okay. I knew that that was like an item that I needed. And Charles discovered this company called Aeroflow Breast Pumps. This is literally probably one of the coolest things that I think we could have ever came across especially at this point in my pregnancy when I feel like I don't want to send any more money. I'm so exhausted. I don't want to have to think anymore about things that I need to get done. Aeroflow Breast Pumps actually specializes in helping women get their pregnancy and like their postpartum pregnancy items through insurance. So they have everything from breast pumps to postpartum recovery support garments. This support band, which I have literally been talking to Charles about forever. Compression socks. There's a, a large amount of items on there that you can actually get through insurance, which is pretty amazing. And all you have to do is you have to fill out this form and it's to qualify through insurance form. You send it in, Aeroflow breast pumps, then contacts your insurance company and your doctor and they do all the work for you. So this is all you have to do, which most women that are pregnant and they're third trimester on the computer looking at stuff, fill this out. It takes like no time whatsoever and then they do the rest for you. And if you have uh, HSA or FSA dollars, you can use those to get things like the, the backpack and all these other garments mm -hmm. as well. Why I didn't think about breast milk storage bags, I don't know. When I'm away and Charles is gonna be taking care of the baby, it's not like, <laughs> Target breastfeed. <laughs> Through insurance, I actually got the Lansano breast pump and it's a double electric breast pump. Here's another thing I learned. So I've seen so many different types of breast pumps, but I've actually seen a lot of people have like the handheld breast pump where you like, you actually are using your hand to pump it. I was telling Charles, I'm like, when I'm breastfeeding and I'm on no sleep, cause I'm already on no sleep. So when there's a baby and I'd be tired, I know I'm gonna be tired and anything to help me kind of ease that transition. It's actually got three customizable pumping styles. It has eight levels of comfort. This is the part that I kind of thought was super cool and I would have never thought would be as important as I think it might be is the fact that it actually connects to your smartphone and it tracks your pumping sessions. It actually tracks all of the baby's activity. Like it does multiple different things. If I'm having trouble breastfeeding, it can actually track my history and things like that that I can actually share with my healthcare provider, so with my OB, and kind of talk to them about like, listen, I can't, I don't know why I'm not pumping enough, or I don't know why I'm not producing enough, or am I producing enough too much? You know, kind of things like that. But this is what I got through the Aeroflow breast pump. They got this for me through my insurance. New moms, moms that already have kids, go and click that link down below in the description. All you have to do is fill out this really short form to qualify through insurance and then they do the rest for you. It's super simple, but make sure you do click on that. You know, I only wanna bring things to you that I use myself or that I think are gonna be really beneficial to you. So do yourself a favor, click that link down below, fill out that form and see if you qualify. I've already got my sister to do it. I've already actually got a couple of my girlfriends to do this that had no idea about it. I think it's just gonna, it's really gonna benefit you guys and really help you out. Right, Marley? Yes. Yes. I like how everyone is just doing their own thing right now. I need to put this on though. You gonna put that on right now? Yeah, cause my belly, it's not that big, but it's, I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we've been getting a lot of requests from people, not even requests, but just like wonder, like straight questions. up questions. Like, 
what are you going to name her? And honestly, they have been coming in so much frequently that I, I think Charles and I really sat down and we were like, oh my gosh, like, do we have a name for baby girl yet? And, no, and yeah. it really kind of like... It kind of stressed me out a little bit. But we do have like a list of names that we really like and kind of a list of names that we know we're not going to use. Not that they're bad, but we're just a traditional name. We're kind of I think it's a traditional. Names. We're trying to... We're not doing like Apple no. or like Umbrella or something like that. So we have a few <laughs> lists of things. so much. She's kicking uh, her no, she's stretching. She like... I have to tell you guys, like now. last night, she kicked my ribs probably like four or five times last night, and I told Charles, I was like, oh my gosh, she's using me as a, like a, a jungle gym, I can't So we should have, I, I feel like we should have a, like a baby pool mm -hmm. on, do you think she's going to have brown hair, blonde hair, blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes? Yeah, what do you guys think she's going to look like? I think she's going to be tall. I she's going to be a fair mix. Of, I think she's yeah, going to be she's tall, like, blonde, blonde, with blue eyes. I, I think she's gonna be like you. We're gonna start off with the ones that we're not like. Yeah. We know we're not gonna use. Yeah, just, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just, I, we kind of didn't want to go the classic route. Traditional. The traditional route, I think, with. Uh, yeah, I think there's a few classic ones on our other list, but. That's true. Yeah. But, um, like more traditional. We're trying to. Yeah, more exactly. More so I think, for example, like we didn't necessarily want to do, uh, what, I have a list of stuff. Yeah. We right. have always have. Things. We always have lists for everything. Do you think we should just knock the one thing off the list right away, right off the bat? Do it. Do okay. It. Yeah. Guys, we are not going to be naming our child anything that has to do with... Allie. Allie. So no, no Allie. Allison, no Alice. Alessandra. No Alicia. Alexis. Um, Alex. Um, anything. Yeah. Allie. Ali spelled five thousand different ways. Nope. We're, <laughs> we we thought it'd be funny, but Alexandra, then again, we're like, oh, it's our baby. We're yeah, not gonna make a joke. We're out not. Of it. We're just no. in case anybody's wondering. There's not gonna be another Ali. And there's not gonna be Charles the Fourth. Yeah. We kind of want to have something just a smidge unique, nothing too crazy, but something just a little bit different. Yeah. So like uh, Jennifer, Ashley, Victoria, Amanda, Sarah. Yeah. Things, names like that, we know that we're. Those are names that we're gonna try and avoid for her first name. It just, I kept thinking like, our last name is so unique too. Mm -hmm. So like, I just felt like it needed to represent us, our last name and our family. I think another one was Katie, Vivian, Alice, because yes, Allie, yeah, yeah. that was that Hannah, was one. Hannah, not Hannah was one that we were gonna, we, we talked about, but we're gonna avoid. I, I think we pushed um, it over. Even though Marie is a family name, I know that that's not necessarily a name that I'm going to use right. for. We're, we're not gonna yeah. use for our little girl. If you guys can pick up on where we're coming from with the names that we know we're not gonna use. I'm sure we just offended half our audience. Well, we're not, no, it's not that they're bad names. No, I know, but, names, but we exactly. know we want something that's, I think, a little bit more modern, yeah. a little bit more unique. Some of them that we have on our, our next list that we're about to show you, like the ones that we're considering, kind of some of them are classic names, but I think that yeah. they're not used as often. So we should probably just go right into the, the list that we, we are really The concerned. moment of truth. Yes. Okay, first one. Quinn. That was one I've been wanting for a very long time. He loves that name. He is Q-U-I-N-N. Like, yep, he really loves that name. He's actually been telling me that since the very beginning. I was trying to think of when we first found out we had a girl, that it was like, okay, for a girl, it was a lot easier. Boy names were so hard to figure out for us, so. Actually, I think they were easier for us than girl really? names. Really? I had yeah. so many girl names. I couldn't come up with one boy yeah. name. But Quinn, that was number one for me. Yeah. But there's names that I've really liked that are more of like that boy-girl kind of name. So they could go either for a boy or they could go for a girl. So I really liked Ryan. R-I-A-N was yeah. one. I thought that was a cool one too. I really, I've always loved that name. Billy, I always thought that was super cute. Harley, H-A-R-L-E-Y. He's a weirdo with like our child having a Y in their first name, which I have no so idea why. So for example, why. okay, let's just say there's a Y. For some reason, I feel like it's heavy on the right. So H-A-R-L-E-Y, T-R-I-P-P-Y. -P -P -Y. Like it just feels. Yeah, but there's feels. a middle name in the middle. Like, let me just show you. <laughs> let's just say Harley. Let's say Harley Trippy, and see what you guys think. Do you feel like it's like heavy on the, like it tilts? I liked the name Sydney for a long time. And then I also liked the name Sophie. How but would you name Sydney? How would I name it? Mm -hmm. Name her. How would you spell Sydney? It's with a Y. See, that's why I didn't like it anymore. It's because it was with a Y. Sophie was one, and There's then two I realized. Y's with Sydney. She's really my point here. 
She's using my theory against me. The, the boy name one that you liked was Frankie, and we're not yeah, doing that because yeah. Frankie would totally. But these are all, like I said, these are names that we really like that I'm just like always kind of stuck with us. Frankie has been something that I wanted since I was a little girl, and he loved Sophie for the longest time. And we were talking about, we're like, well, if we name our daughter either Frankie or Sophie, like Ryan Sophie from the band, or Frankie from the band, we're gonna make everyone else jealous, and this baby's gonna so have the longest the name. Baby would be Travis, Coley, Hunter, Danny, Sophie, Duncan, Colin. Frankie, Colin. <laughs> That's her first name. It's her first so. name. I always thought Kennedy was awesome. It's a Y thing. Look, look at it on the screen. Again, Kennedy Trippy just falls on the right. Would you have to start the name with like a J or a Y or yeah, or, G kinda, or, a... or if, if, if it ended with an I or an E or something like that, I feel like it would flat. It'd be like flat, like Charles, Charles, and then Trippy. Well, mine's Wessenberg Trippy. Because yours is long as hell. Yeah, but, that, but then there's so, a G and a Y. So it's all falls heavy on the right. Yes, it does. So what do you think about my name? I think it's long. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Madison was another one I really thought was kind of cool. What were you telling me? Maddie. Like, yeah. But there's so, a Y again. That my, was another, my whole theory is... I feel the, like it's why easy. would Madison be Y? No, Maddie. The nickname, Maddie. No, IE. You could do IE. Oh, uh, I guess you could. Yeah. What was the other one? You like Winnie? Winnie? Yeah, I really like... I thought Winnie was Winnie super was cute. Good. I think why I liked Winnie was from the Wonder Years. I always loved Winnie, Winnie. Cooper. just thought it was such a cute girly name that kind of brought us into the whole idea of like okay so what could you call her for short is it something that she'd be like comfortable using when she's an adult i think of and she thinks i'm nuts and a lot of other people think i'm nuts is i think about things like along the lines of how can the kids name be made fun of so winnie winnie the pooh which isn't that obviously sounds bad but as a kid it probably gets annoying he's such a worry word about this little girl and i love that i think it's so wonderful but he takes a name and he takes it so seriously to the point where what? what's gonna happen to them when they start making fun of him? Well, like, I gotta what think of happen? what's gonna happen. You just how, gotta keep your child who strong. I have to kick, whose butt I'm gonna have to kick. So I have to kind of plan for these kind of situations. Right, um, we're ruining every name that we're putting no, on our list. No, little we baby love. girl, she's gonna be <laughs> she's gonna be perfect. Yeah. Um, and she's never dating. Yes, Rome, R H O A M. Yeah, that was I a really good one. like Rome. Um, I don't remember where I, I don't know I'm if it's like a of, baby book. But I really liked it because I was thinking about Charles and I, and we love to travel, we love to like go see places. And so I started thinking about that in that sense, and it really stuck with us. Like I remember when, the day that I mentioned it to Charles, I was like, I really like the name Rome. That one is like high on my list is Rome. Another one I kind of liked was Piper. Allie's nickname from her parents or your dad is Pepper. I don't know, I just or thought trend. that was Or cool. Trim, my dad called me Trim, but we're- Trim, okay. Trendarella. Trend? Trendarella. Okay. Trend of I don't know my dad. That's an interesting like, one. But, but Piper, Piper, and then another one I really liked was Emery. I never really realized how many names end with a Y or like the I E, like the, that vowel sound. Even though I know Y technically. You know. Yeah, wait, except sometimes Y. Yeah, yeah, but like that sometimes. vowel sound. Yeah, exactly. Like a lot of girl names have that vowel sound, which is really. I think it's, it's like feminine. a pretty, it's feminine, yeah. like pretty flow yeah. or whatever. Two other ones that I really liked were Harlow and Wren. And they, I just came across them one day and I really liked them. I thought they were beautiful and unique. And then the other one was Willow, Willow which was, was kind of so cool. Cute. You don't want to be so like, like 100% because once you hold them, you can look at them, you're like, oh, it's going to be, no, this yeah. totally. That was the biggest thing that we were told is when deciding names to so just like, have names in mind That's and, what we have. and just remember you might change it at the last minute. One other one that I really liked, I really, really, really liked was Rowan, R-O-W-A-N. Which is cool too. And I Rowan, I don't know where I saw that one, but I thought it was cool and unique and different. That's kind of like our list of names that we're really, like we really like and we're names that we know we're not going to name our little girl. But again, we still haven't decided, we haven't figured no, it out. No, still, it's still up in the air mm -hmm. and still are discovering more and more names. So that's actually, what we wanted to ask you guys, if you guys have a unique name or interesting name, maybe that we don't even know about, or you can come up with a name that maybe we would even think about, tell us in the comments. I would love to go through it with Allie and see if we can find another yeah, name. Not gonna lie, there are a couple names that we're like really highly considering that haven't been on that list, just because we're really highly considering them, but I'm not gonna say that. Not quite about. yet. Not but yet. the ones on the list though, like there's a couple on there that if you haven't figured out, I really, really like. But anyways, if you guys have not watched the one second video, one, one second, second a day, day video, video for every single day for 10 years, we'll put that link somewhere, it's, right? Yeah. Or click, it's, right? it's gonna be somewhere. <laughs> It'll be on the eye. Definitely go check it out. Grab some popcorn, some, uh, 
some candy, sit down, turn the lights what off, your, what are your and favorites? treat us like, like goobers, or whatever, goobers Sour Patch Kids. I'm trying to think of my whatever. go to. I'll admit it. I sneak candy in. So don't forget to check out the Aeroflow breast pumps by going down below into the description and clicking that link. And we will see you guys. I actually got to start packing because I leave for uh, a couple a shows. <laughs> and I got to seriously take a nap because I'm exhausted. Um, so we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a Adios. good night. Bye. Bye bye.